Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Rocket League, the fun Rocket League tournament season three. Uh, we're going to be uh, jumping into matches right away here and checking these out. So hopefully you're uh, joining us and we can uh, see some of this awesome action that's going on here today as we'll wait for our competitors to jump in to chat. Uh, I got uh, Brian uh, with us as well, too. He's a fun commentator and fun host who's going to be joining us as well. How's it going, Brian? Hey, everything's going well over here, Tyler. And uh, who do we have for our first match? Uh, it seems as if we have uh, 2403 versus uh, Wings of Fire, if I just saw. Correctly. Yeah, I think that's what I saw as well, too. Yep, so that would be Team 51 uh, going into this. So hopefully they'll be joining in here. It looks like a couple of them hop back out. Uh, but that's what we'll be waiting for uh, is this. And unfortunately, it looks like the match has been canceled. So, Oh, that's pretty fun. Uh, so we'll wait for that. We'll see. Maybe we'll hop into a different match here, um, and we'll see what's going on. So maybe we'll hop into a different one. Let's do. Let's do the first NC squad versus five thirty seven and uh, forty one fifty nine. Brian, are you able to see the screen, or is that not quite working for you? Something seems weird on my end. I am currently staring at our at the intro thing. OBS. Okay. Yeah, yeah the some, intro thing. Something's weird. So, One second. there we go. All right, there so we're we gonna, go. yeah, there we go. So we're gonna hop in this match as we see now a one to one tied up here. Uh, a little bit of uh, Tux coming in and uh, passing it over to Speedy with a nice touch in the goal. Actually, I think that's gonna be two to one. Two, uh, sorry, two nil as we go into this match, Brian. All right, awesome. Going into kickoff here. With Quintic Splinters <laughs> going through and just taking it down straight off of kickoff and making a nice dribble down off of the ceiling, touching it into that goal. I think that was a triple touch in. Yeah, we, oh. might, be, uh, we might be hopping into a uh, match here that is, uh, might be a little lopsided, so we'll see. Oh, I'm trying to remember how to get all the uh, names to show up. There we go. So we'll be, if you're watching live, we'll be just staying in uh, director mode here. And we'll let that play here. Quinnick Splinters uh, looking to get a center there into Speedy Speedy with a one tap. Second tap, not quite in. But Tux with the follow up there, able to get 4-0. Uh, looking to be a big blowout here, Brian, already. Oh, boy. This is... This is definitely a very lopsided match we have over here, Tyler. Um, and Tuck's showing he's a Season 13 Grand Champion, so that might have something to do with it. Oh, boy. Isn't this going to be a fun one? Here we go. I had off a kickoff. So, Brian, I know you said that you've had a chance to watch a lot of matches recently. You don't play as much, uh, but you've had a chance to watch a lot uh, going on. Uh, what have you seen recently that's really stood out to you? Uh, I... I'm a big fan of the Cloud9 organization, so I went through and I watched a lot of the Cloud9 uh, games over here. Uh, those were the so I watched a lot of um, uh, finals matches, a lot of mostly competitive plays, some lower level scrims. Sure. Uh, it, it was just a lot of a lot of Rocket League over the past couple of days, just sitting here watching the commentators. Uh, Go through learning the terminology through that. Seems as if Speedy had a nice touch right into goal. Can't remember who passed it over. To uh, him, Tux but. with a nice pass there, and yeah, and, and apparently Speedy's the season nine grand champion too. So this is just this is getting a little bit out of hand here. It looks like so. Uh, An immediate off of kickoff. And they're actually playing against. Uh, our host uh, here, by the way, too, Chris, who's on uh, Orange for 41.59. So, uh, Chris, uh, unfortunately, man, looks like you're just getting dismantled a little bit there. Quintic Splinters has dribbling that ball. He's trying to keep control over here in midfield. That's, uh, uh, once again, Huggy's baby wife, you seen as Chris. I, I don't quite know why he has that name. He has the same name in Discord, too, and when he first messaged me about doing this i saw a message from huggy's baby wipes and immediately sent it to my spam so 
Oh boy. Uh, we'll, we'll have to we'll have to figure out from him one day. And there it goes Quidditch Splitter is going oh. through doing a nice touch. 7-0 with 2.16 left in this game. Oh, boy. Uh, by the way, just call me Jeff for the win. Thanks for the 20 months of support on Fun. Appreciate that, man. I don't know what Brazil us means. But <laughs> that was put in the chat. Oh. Oh. I, it's a oh. weird terminology in Rocket League. Uh, no, this actually is probably uh, in reference to the World Cup. Oh, not too long yeah, yeah, ago. yeah. Okay, I get it. Oh, eight nil uh, going in here, crazy. Oh, so, uh, so yeah, so I've been I, I'm kind of on and off with Rocket League. I got a love hate occasionally with it. Um, I s finally switched back to an Xbox controller, and I've been liking it a lot more. Uh, I sit right around the plat area uh, for most of my items. I feel like I'm starting to get. A little more hang of uh, the double jumps and a little more aerial control, but you know, not not quite enough to get into diamond yet. Um, but I'm starting to feel it a little bit. Hey, that's always good. You know, Speedy Speedy here, uh, who's once again that grand champion with trying to get some of those nice aerials and dribbles in there. Uh, you might have a little bit of an edge on me. Uh, let's take a look at some of our orange uh, team. Uh, we got Iron Avenger. One, two, three, four that we're focusing on right now. Looking to get a one off of Speedy, but Speedy just does that double touch once again up and in. Nine nil, man. We picked we picked uh, an interesting one to cover here, I tell you. Yeah. Oh my god, this is what we got a minute and a half left inside this match and we're already at almost ten and zero. Uh, you gotta let him have one. Come on, Speedy. Oh. <laughs> now he's oh now he's just making God, fun of him. That double touch off the backboard for Speedy going through and sinking it in. Holy cow! What a play, this man! This man should probably sign up and go pro at this rate. <laughs> no kidding. So kickoff comes once again, 10 nil right now in favor of Blue. I always want to say Blue Alliance. That's uh, the hard part trying to get out of that for uh, first terms on there. But uh, Speedy coming in, uh, looking to get a center touch just a little bit off there as Orange looks to take back control, but it just comes right back, tucks with an extra top, but gets bumped there by Iron Avenger. And it keeps going a little bit of back and forth here. Huggy's baby wife's a little miscue, but ends up getting back control as it goes back over to Speedy for Blue. At this point, this is the first time that I've seen that this ball isn't inside of the goal at this point inside of the it's game. It's probably the longest it's gone since a goal has been scored. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, we might be eating our words here. Mm -hmm. Oh no, Tuck's coming along. Missed opportunity just glancing it off with a side flip. I mean, Blue's not even, like, giving them a chance. You guys are up 10 nothing. at least look, you go 2v3 or something for a minute. <laughs> 10 seconds left. It looks like Speedy's going through for a long shot. Oh, Tux was going in. Looked like he was on goal. Just glanced short. As time expires. So I wonder if our if our first NC squad is part of our Inspire NC stream that we had yesterday. It'll be, uh, be interesting to see. Maybe we'll... When we talk to them, uh, yeah, Grand Champions versus Gold, Gold. So that that kind of explains all of it there. That explains a lot. Uh, we'll see if any other matches are going on. We might be able to hop into uh, one in here. Looks like they are all complete on there. So we'll actually head back over to our Face It app and uh, see about if we can. Come on, Face It. Um, we'll see if we popped up in a second, see what some of the results are uh, from here. I'm just going to read some of them off as we're waiting here. Uh, 1807 uh, defeating the 3003-4309 alliance. Uh, 5431, 3015, and 3538 alliance beating the gold diggers. Uh, FTC 8417, who's been a strong competitor, uh, beating uh, the 3005, 3409, 16762 alliance. Uh, we just saw the first NC squad defeat the 537, 4159 alliance. Uh, back to Strange uh, taking uh, a 537, 1619, 4159 alliance, and 2403 beating Wings of Fire. 
Uh, so looking at that uh, match uh, there, Brian, what do you what do you want to see in future matches from teams, or maybe some strategies that might play out? Well, for one, I mean, when you have two grand champions going on over here, I mean, you have a season nine and a season thirteen. What are we on now in Rocket League? Season fourteen going into fifteen? Yeah, something like that. Something around there. I mean. It's kind of hard to go through and put put up strategies against a team this that just individually the players have a lot of experience in themselves, um, and usually with that long term experience, sometimes that communication comes on better. Uh, I'm applying a lot of because uh, what it is is that I was I used to play League of Legends a lot. Sure. I used to play competitive league, so I'm using a lot of ideology from there and applying it here. I don't know if that's kosher or not, but uh, I know communication is key, and mechanics are key. Those are the two main things when it comes to esports games in general. Um, with this here, I mean, to go up against this kind of team, you just have to make sure that you're keeping tight, capitalizing on any mistake that is possibly made at any point in time and just keeping your head focused, keeping forward and not letting a score put you down. <laughs> you just got to keep trucking. Yeah. No, no doubt on that. And uh, we'll wait. Our next matches will be starting in just about a couple minutes here. It goes pretty quick. Uh, as we go through. So uh, definitely looking forward to seeing uh, what other matches we might have coming up. Uh, I'm not quite seeing the schedule uh, pop up on here for oncoming matches. We'll see if they are going to be popping up. There we go. New matches just popped up on here. Uh, and we'll be uh, seeing who our next set of teams is going to be. Hey. Uh, but looking at some of the, the next ones, we have Back the Strange against uh, Electric Legends, 84-17. Our 3005-34-19-16762 Alliance against the 537-6019-4159. The Gold Diggers against uh, 537-4159. And it looks like we're going to be capturing the 2403 versus 1807 match. Hey. Coming up. So looking forward to that. That will be coming up in just a couple minutes here on Fun. Uh, 1807, uh, once again, is the is that, is it Redbird off the top of my head. I'm trying to remember team numbers now. I feel like it's, I feel so out of it. Yeah, Redbird Robotics, that's right, out of uh, the Mar area, out of Allentown, New Jersey, and they're playing against 2403, which is Plasma Robotics, out of Mesa, Arizona. And for everybody on stream, Brian, uh, where are you from? What what team are you associated with? Uh, that sort of thing. All right. Well, I am a master of ceremonies from Florida, um, but I am an alumni of Team 179, Children of the Swamp, and I am now currently a mentor for Team 1902, Exploding Bacon. So two long-term teams from the state of Florida, yeah. 179 recently in their – crazy crazy uptick in getting to being a world-renowned name after not being at worlds and being on that plate since 2007 consistently yeah and of course congrats to 1902 uh 2019 hall of famers uh coming in i'm sure that's a uh, very exciting uh time to be a, a team going through that as well oh it, it, everybody's excited about it uh ever since the win last year we've been working hard on keeping our ideals forward and putting a little bit more focus into the robot you could say sure. this time around so you know we do what we can all right we'll be hopping into our next match here as we go on they just popped up uh, so once again we're going to be seeing 2403 versus 1807 Looks like our competitors are hopping in. It's waiting for one of our uh, blue robots. 
Blue Robots. Blue Robots. I, see, that's the problem. I'm so attuned to just like FRC, FTC, everything. Yeah, no, that's completely understandable. Can we still play 2B3? I don't know. We're just striking out here on uh, trying to join our first matches. But. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens uh, between we'll see this. see what happens. Yeah. Here we go. We go into kickoff in this 2v3 game. I feel like if you're blue and you win, you should just get, like, extra points. Because you get three points if yeah. you win. You should get, you should get a fourth. Yeah, I, I would agree to that. Vibe with a nice save. P90 going through straight and true into that goal. Uh, this is it's going to be hard to get some control and do some counterattacking with just two two players. But here they come. Oh. Yeah, what I, I think you really have to do is try to get Orange to double commit uh, on something. And you're seeing they are doing that a couple times. And I think that's where if you're going to be able to capitalize this blue is if you can get them to double commit like that. Uh, and take essentially and equivalent out now to a two v two. I think that's where you're, uh, where you got to try to lie for something like this. Yeah, that was a nice save from Vibe there with P90 coming in straight full boost, straight down that center. All you had to do was back up and just block that ball from going in. Now, if you're orange at this point, I mean, you almost just want to play a game of keep away, really, uh, and try to get them to use up all their boosts as much as they can. Uh, I'd almost be okay letting Blue take the first touch sometimes on these, uh, just so they exhaust their boost. Uh, and if you're orange, hopefully you can just kind of gang up on them. I, I, I'm not a big fan of the blow-ups and the demos on this, right? If you're 2v3, you don't need the demo uh, the Blue team. Come on, P90. Yeah. You, you, you don't need the demos over there. I mean, if anybody should be getting the demo, it should be the Blue right. going through to help even it out. Just, just, just that breathe. That little bit of a breather just helps out that much. Yeah. Vibe with a great save just a moment ago there, too. Uh, and to really keep it alive for Blue right now. Nil-nil as they come in. Uh, but there's your first score. Snazzy right into the upper left corner, uh, taking it 1-0 for Orange. Nice touch straight into there. Just past Vibe, too. Or was that Braxy? I couldn't tell for a second there. Yeah, so we go through once again. Twenty four oh three is our team in blue. Eighteen oh seven in orange. Yo, oh, that was a nice save coming across from the boost from five. Yeah, you know, if you're looking at, at blue right now, uh, trying to get some bigger power clears out, I think is you know something that buy you a little bit of time right now because a lot of their clears are only going to about a third of that mid court right now or midfield on this and yeah. if you're blue you gotta really try to get some big big power clears out there and then try to get that double commit there we go a nice nice counter attack over there bringing it all the way down for by for braxy all the way down but you see that boost there braxy right now no boost right now and that's really the difficult part is that but here comes vibe in with the shot just deflected uh -oh. off by snazzy I thought it was going in there, Brian. Yeah, I thought that was going in there too. There's, it, it looks very close from our angle over here. Seems that this has turned from being a game on the, uh, sitting in the blue side to being a little bit of a midfield to orange side a little bit here. So it looks like this, 2v3 advantages actually there we go neck and neck with the score in from vibe wow vibe with the assist to himself you see that bounce off there coming in from uh on orange and just pass it back to vibe right in the good position there and getting the score ties it up one to one one to one at this 2v3 matchup let's see if see who can take the win here with a minute 40. You know, the other disadvantage with that 2v3 is potentially kickoff position 
uh, for things. There's really only one kickoff that you're going to be very disadvantaged on, and that's when you have uh, two robots in back and one on the side, and there's potential that yeah. the way you might be lined up is missing out on that. But uh, So if you're blue, you really got to hope that with kickoffs you don't see that happen because it just gives a free ball to orange. Yeah, 100%. Some nice clears and deflections, though, at least coming in just to help extend their lifetime over here. It helps give them, give them that breathing room that I was mentioning earlier. Because the more you can breathe, the more you can keep your head clear and in the game and thinking right and not under all that deep pressure. And by the way, if you're uh, joining us on here, this is the first updates now Rocket League tournament. Uh, this is meant for uh, people who are competing. Are, we're part of an organization called FIRST, uh, which is a competitive robotics organization for uh, K through 12 students. Pretty much everybody playing here uh, is either in high school or an adult mentor uh, that's playing as well. Uh, but we just love to get together and be able to play some things outside of robots. And uh, Rocket League is a great way for us to come together. Uh, but if you're interested, you can check out more, of course, uh, links in uh, descriptions uh, or go to firstinspires.org. Oh, 10 seconds left. Let's see, we're going to go into overtime here unless the last second P90 goes through and makes a score. Oh, Vive going through and keeping it off. Here we are in overtime. And they got a good position there for kickoff, so that's good. Vibe with a nice flip immediately after kickoff. Uh, Braxy looking to make a clear vibe right up behind and able to punch that through. That's what we need right now from Blue. You got to be cheering for Blue, right, in the 2v3? Oh, yeah, no, you're, you're, everybody loves a good underdog story, don't they, Tyler? Absolutely. And looking, you know, the, the same first, so, you know, you and I who are MCs and announcers, you always got to be impartial. That's not the case here, you know. Very close, oh. and oh, finishes it in. Snazzy almost punching in the upper right corner and passes it out, uh, but able to get the follow-up and in. I can't even read what person whose name that is. Fan two one two six four one. What a name! And your winner is eighteen oh seven here in this matchup. Yeah, congratulations to eighteen oh seven. We'll head back over uh, to our Face It uh, program and look to see how all of our competitors are doing here from these matches. Yeah. Uh, let's just see if round two, there we go. Round two, uh, we do have match results up there. Uh, of course, we saw 1807 defeat, 2403. Wings of Fire able to extinguish 3003 and 4309. First NC squad going 2 0 against the 5431, 3015, 3538 Alliance. The Gold Diggers takes a win against 537 and 4159. Uh, 537, 1619, 4159 able to take it against 3005, 3409, and 16762. And Electric Legends goes 2-0. Well, we're back to Strange Ryan. Let's look at our standings. So right now, looking at teams that are currently undefeated, 1807, first NC squad, and 8417 are current 1, 2, and 3, all undefeated. Three teams that are winless as well. Uh, we're going to take the top eight. So teams will play six rounds, taking the top eight into our playoffs. Oh, it looks like we have some interesting matchups coming up here in their next round. Or is this an old round? No, this is scheduled next round. Yep, this is next round coming up. The interesting matchup that will be is uh, First NC Squad versus 1807. 1807 looks like they were, even though they were up against, uh, what were what were the standings? Did we see who what the rankings were for 1807? Yeah, so 1807, 84, 17 are two of the undefeated teams uh, right now. Mm -hmm. uh, and then First NC Squad is the other one um, as well, too. Oh, that's that's a good matchup there. We're good, so... One of these guys is definitely staying in the top three. Yeah, you're, you're right. It's a great great thing to point out. That does mean one of the teams will drop. Uh, so we'll see how that ends up playing out. So, yeah, we're going to take a look at the 84-17 versus 18-07 match. 
uh, as two undefeated. You just can't pass that up. I'm sure we might see those two teams in the playoffs as well, but that's a great match to cover. Yeah. We will try to get the most of teams. I don't know if we'll get every single one, uh, you know, especially if they're not going to be hitting the uh, playoff matches, but we'll try to try to cover as many as we can. We got about what, five minutes till our next set of matches start. Yeah. But so it's going to be interesting as seeing because since first NC squad is currently sitting at in the top three speculation is that your top three teams are at after first two rounds are your top teams in air quotes uh first NC squad having those two grand grandmaster champions from season nine and season 13 it's it's going to be interesting to see which one of these teams winds up going up against them hmm because that is more than likely the team that those are one of these two teams are more than likely the ones that are going to be able to give first NC squad the run for their money. Yeah. And 80, both 84, 17, 1807 have gone deep uh, in the playoffs before uh, as well. And I, off the top of my head, I don't remember who our previous champions are to be honest with you, but uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see who else can get the run for money. Now I do remember in previous uh, tournaments, though, we've, we've had some low seeds advance in playoffs. So really anything can happen. And especially in our quarter and semis, those are best of one uh, before we go to our finals, which will, I believe is a best of three uh, on these. So these go pretty quick, uh, but you know, upsets can always be a bound when you only play one game in single elimination sometimes. Yeah. Upsets are always a plenty are always a plenty. And the upsets are what makes it makes the games more interesting. Isn't that isn't that the truth? Okay, sweet. So heading in into round number three, once again, we're playing six rounds before, uh, we'll, and after the round number six, we'll actually take a short break uh, for a dinner break or whatever you want to call it, strategic meeting break, yeah, and then we'll hop into our playoffs once again, taking a top eight teams out of 12 here. Uh, I love to see the different representation of teams, by the way. It's always fun to see. You know, teams from all over. Uh, I think at this time they might all be from the States, but we've had teams from other countries play before. Uh, you know, time zones always make, a, make it hard, but it's been really cool to see. We've had teams from Israel play, uh, Romania play, uh, of course, Canada and Mexico and the U.S. as well, too. So it's the thing you love about FIRST so much is just uh, so much multicultural action going on here and, and multi-nations uh, competing both with and against each other, and that's that's the fun part about it. Oh yeah, no, that's absolutely amazing. Just like our organization itself, it's just yeah. amazing to see everybody from around the world go through and be able to say, you know what, let's play a game. Right. You know, and what better way to unwind from our usual stressful and strenuous way of competing than by a friendly tournament? Yeah. Hey, Bacon, how you doing, man? Bacon, are you competing? Thought you were, but. Yeah, I thought I saw earlier that he was going to be competing. Let's see if he's in the chat room. I do not see him no, in the I, chat room. Some teams have their, are using a separate chat, though, too. So. Ah, true. That is true. We do have, what, 12 teams here and only five comms are taken up. Mm hmm Oh, Braxy's just stating here that it looks like it's going to be a second 2v3. For their four. team? Oh. Yeah. That is very unfortunate. All right, so we're going to be hopping in our match here. Once again, 84 17 versus 18 07. I know we're grabbing 18 07 twice, but this is going to be a great match uh, coming in to play. Hey, 
here we go, right into kickoff. Blue side taking the advantage so far. And a kickoff goal five seconds wow. into the match. Would you look at that? No reset allowed, nothing, just a straight <laughs> nice advantage goal right off the kickoff. Blue almost taking and punching in another time there too, some mishaps uh, by Orange. Once again, that's uh, Orange, I believe, is our 18 17 versus Blue in 84 17. FTC versus FRC at its finest here. Oh, that's this is what we have going on over here. It is Electric Legends, uh, 84 17, very prominent in the FTC community. Uh, I know I've participated in a lot of stuff we've had for our fun FTC uh, contents and programming. Uh, including our premiere night as well. You gotta love the festive invaders name. Go build or go home. If you're an FTC I fan. Should have known that. Yeah, I should have figured that. <laughs> no pistachio going through and being super aggressive here, just going right into the middle of 1807, saying, "You know what? No, I want control of this ball." It's interesting to see uh, as we go through the rotations a little bit uh, on this. I feel like I'm seeing a little bit better rotations out of blue here. Uh, Orange looks like uh, 1807 trying to get a little bit uh, more going uh, for their team uh, in that route there. And hopefully it can conserve some boosts that way too. Well, if we go through and we uh, just refer back to our previous matchup, it seemed as if uh, comparatively against a two-man team, 1807 did still keep the conservative play and the respectful amount of play, mm. even against only two players. Yeah, that's, that's so. a fair point. So you, yeah, you would think Electric Legends, you'd have the advantage, just based on just based on the fact that 1807, uh, you know, barely won against a two v three. Yeah. Threw a touch up in the air, off the backboard. Oh, headed back on over. And Orange there's side. A, that is a straight shot, straight down the middle. Uh, Snazzy taking advantage of that open field there. Uh, Electric Legends, it not quite able to make that backwards flip back in time, and ties it up one to one. Here we go, straight off of kickoff. With two minutes and 40 seconds left of this match. Yeah, Festive Invader with a nice pass game. over there to Pistachio, able to get it up and in. Uh, and our friends at Electric Legends taking a 2-1 lead. 238 left in this match. Wow. That was a nice goal. There you go. Another kickoff. Coming on over to blue side. Pistachio taking keeping control, dribbling it across the field. Oh. Nice clear off to the back corner, give him some time. Well, and with that demo there too, of course, buying them some time. Nice back pass there to Id uh, from uh, Snazzy, I believe that was. Or no, sorry, Snazzy on orange. Uh, from Pistachio there. It's Pistachio goes and looks to make a center clear here. Not quite able to get it up and in as P90 clears it back out over on the blue side of the, of the field or turf or pitch or whatever we want to call it. <laughs> I'm sure there's a Rocket League term for it. I'm sure there is. Go through. This is very, this is a very big midfield game right now. Oh, it seems as if ID's coming over. Oh, and a nice clear out from P90 just off to the corner to keep them alive and not in that strenuous part of having a ball right in front of their goal. Stash was trying to get a cross over there, but a little bit too far. But here comes Festive Invader. Looking to make a center as well, too, into ID. Uh, but Orange will clear back out. Snazzy, a little bit of a miscue there, but goes back over. And a nice shot up and in, just off the side. Oh, Pistachio saves it. Fun, right. fun eight coming in with the goal right off of the corner. 
Yeah, nice follow up there. Oh, it was a touchback. Yeah, nice follow up. That's what you gotta do. The double commit by Blue costs him, and Orange ties it up. 1807, two to two. Yeah, we'll kick off once again with a one minute warning popping up across the screen. This is a tie game. Oh, wow, Fawn 8 coming across. Taking control of that ball, P90 coming through, sending it in to the middle to Fawn 8 to give another goal to 1807. Yeah, I could see a little bit of an upset here actually coming through. I know these teams are both 2 0, but I, I think you have to give that advantage to Electric Legends. But here they come. We say that, but Fawn 8 able to get a nice save there. Uh, but here comes the touch nice up in by Pistachio. Pistachio. This is now this is Rocket League. This is what you when when you see a game that you're like, this is a back and forth, this is a good match, this is one of those types of matches. Yeah. Yeah, so three three there, uh Fawn eight able to win the kickoff, but it does go back to the blue side. Uh was a little bit curious there. I thought Pistachio was going to take that, but here comes nice touch. ID trying to tap that in just a little bit. Not quite able to do so. Fest Invader with a cross center goes a little bit too far. As Pistachio, a little bit too hard to clear, but Orange double commits. P90 looking to take control. We have 15 seconds left in this match, and it is still a tie game 3-3. Three, three. Apparently we just pick the ones that uh, tie uh, or go to OT, but that's okay. Oh, ID trying to finish oh, that. Oh, Pistachio almost had it up, and here we go into overtime. Kickoff goes into the blue corner. Almost a big mistake there by Blue, leaving that goal wide open, but able to recover as they go through. ID able to get a touch back over Pistachio. A little bit of a miss there. Seem to get first touch. Able to get the rebound as they go back through. It's Pistachio, a little bit of a back pass there to ID. I think that was a bit of a mistake. And now 1807 on orange looking to capitalize as it stays on the blue side of the pitch. Stays on blue side. Oh, now we're moving over to the orange side. We're currently still sitting pretty close to the middle. Whoa, that was a nice from go build to go home. Nice cross check. Statue trying to get that aerial up and in, deflected off by Snazzy. Font 8, big miss there as Id looks to get the shot, but not quite on the follow up there. Blue right, right now. Yeah, 84-17, feeling a little bit more comfortable there, but a miss by Fawn8. Had the opportunity to finish it there. Snazzy looking to get back in the rebound. Uh, Blue's just going to clear that back out. Oh, and ID just got taken down. Oh, but that was a long clear out. That's going to buy him just enough time just in case so that they can have their third player go through and respawn. Oh, right off the back panel. That was Fawn 8 giving the respect to ID over here by backing off and not going straight in for that goal. So right now we've seen quite a few back and forths. I think this will really come down to uh, who, who doesn't make the mistake, right? And uh, as we look through here, Pistachio looking to set up ID. ID trying to get that touch in. Festival Invader with follow-up, but off of Fawn 8. ID coming oh, in once again. ID up and in. in. And we got a score. Right off of the corner, a nice cross pass from Go Build a Go Home. ID was ready right there, right over P90, center of the goal. Yeah, you saw P90 try to come in and make that touch, but turned a bit too late. Might have been better off just trying to stay in goal. Uh, or maybe a double jump there, but uh, Blue, 84 17, taking it overtime. Nicely done. And we'll look at our match results and standings coming up. And there you have it, round number three. Let's look at what our match results are going to be here. Uh, we got all six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Uh, so Back to Strange takes a win over 3,003 and 4,309. 
Uh, 3,005, 3419, 16,762, taken out 537 and 4159. 54, 31, 30, 15, 35, 38, takes out 537, 16, 19, 41, 59. The Gold Diggers, able to extinguish Wings of Fire. First NC squad goes 3-0 against 24-03. And 84, 17, our other 3-0 team uh, against 18-07. Looking at our standings here, once again, two teams that are 3-0. And if we look at our top eight, uh, where that cutoff is, right now 1-2 and two is your cutoff. Uh, two teams uh, that are currently 0-3 are going to be struggling to see if they can get into that top eight. It looks like our next match coming up here that we're going to be covering is going to be our Wings of Fire against 3005, 3419, and 16762. Uh, so let's look at where Wings of Fire right now, currently one and two. Uh, it should be a pretty, pretty evenly matched against another one and two. Uh, squad as well. So looking for a pretty close match coming up in that. Should be coming up in just a couple minutes. One thing that you should uh, take a look at here, Tyler, these are two teams that are very close to being into our top eight. So what happens inside of this match could dictate whether they get into the playoffs later on or if they're going to stay out down at the bottom. Yeah, and there is a tiebreaker. I'm not quite sure how the Buchholz score works for tiebreakers, but... Uh, but these rankings are are actually based on the tiebreakers here because these two teams both have a tiebreaker score six. Uh, so I'm not sure if it's based yeah. on how many goals are scored or what. I'm sure somebody in chat might be able to uh, correct it. Uh, once again, if you are uh, following us, if you're not uh, part of the fun community, uh, this is a uh, first updates now Rocket League tournament. We're part of a competitive robotics community called First, and we're just playing some Rocket League because we get a lot of uh, uh, students and mentors. Uh, this is a program that we primarily focus on 7th through 12th. Uh, grade with adult mentors uh, that just want to play some Rocket League. So we're here uh, chilling and vibing. Hope uh, you're enjoying our time here. Of course, we got uh, Brian as well on the other side of the comms uh, calling out uh, what the match play it is. So you got uh, commentators here from Wisconsin and Florida and teams from all over the United States competing here today. So, funny enough, I had just purchased Rocket League earlier today, just before. <laughs> this, you know, I, I, I was like, you know what? So you've been watching it for I a while, know. but but haven't haven't pulled the trigger on purchasing it. Yeah, exactly. That's the All whole right. thing. And it's, I, ever since it came out and I saw this game, I was like, you know what? This looks like a fun game. I should try and do it. And I, I've go. always been on that fence. And I was like, you know what? It's finally time to pull the trigger. And by the way, uh, during our break, I think I think we should get Brian in in on this uh, chat. I don't know what you think, but during the break, uh, we will play some exhibition games uh, as well too, and uh, maybe get Brian to play. I'm I'm a big fan of hoops personally, uh, but I'll, I will play any 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 method. Any I love hoops and drop shot. Big fans of both of those. Uh, next match, uh, C Mac is going to be. Uh, Wings of Fire versus uh, 3,005, 34, 19, 16, 7, 6, 2. Uh, but we will try to get the 3,003, That should be popping up here in just a moment. We haven't had, all the matches we've been in have lasted the longest. Um, so, C Mac, if the 3003-4309 match lasts longer than the one we'll cover, and then we'll we'll hop into that one and try to catch the end. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I'd, I'd love to play some hoops during the break, but uh, if we just want to play soccer um, as well, totally cool with that. I'm not a big fan of four v four. I know we've done four v four, but. Not a huge fan of that one, to be honest with you. Luckily, I have the game downloaded and it's already ready to go. Oh, there you go. All right, so we'll wait for our teams to hop in here. 
Oh, that's that's a fun name. Just looking at the names coming up in the bottom. I guess we're gonna call him RK. Here we go and kick off. Got teams going through and con just going through, swapping back and forth some control here on the midfield. Just a little bit on blue side now. It seems as if they're going to have a clear going over from Wowza. Let's see if I pop in the other team's name here real quick. Two K four looks like they're this is a very back and forth on control here. Oh that was that was a very big mistake on blue side committing so far into orange to go through and try and keep them selves alive and orange almost made a goal while RK comes through off of the corner. Nice bounce up into the goal. We're looking at zero to one, Wings of Fire standing up. Yeah, of course, Wings of Fire, if you're not familiar, if you uh, ever frequent Chief Delphi, uh, is actually. The Wings of Fire team actually is uh, the kind of the original for that. Chief Delphi was team number 47, and they merged uh, with another team. Uh, gonna, oh, an own goal there, unfortunately. Uh, merged, oh, with, merged with another team when their high school closed down to form Wings of Fire. Tiny Wing comes in, and Wowza just taps it in there. It looks like he was. Looks like they were trying to go through and knock it out but they instead just tapped it in yeah i mean it, it's one of those things where would have probably been scored anyways maybe uh i think it's clearly on a good clear that there was a good chance it could have gotten it out but uh you always feel bad when that happens yeah lots of sorries in chat so i'm just gonna say i haven't heard any of these yet but i'm so glad there's there's one boost sound that if I heard it, I feel like I'd just mute the rest of the stream because it's so annoying. Uh, but I'm glad nobody here has it yet. I'm not going to say what it is because I want anybody to, to add that to their uh, car. Yeah. Is it? I'm guessing that you can customize boost sounds. Oh, Hawk 2K4 goes through and taps it in. But I think there was a little bit of an own goal there. Um, I, you know, I wouldn't consider that an own goal, you know, off a Hawk 2K4, that was going in anyway, so, uh, but yeah, nice shot, nice shot there. It was a real nice shot. Just from the angle that it looked like from the, from the live play there, it looked as if it was, but seeing that replay, that was going in no matter what. So, so to kind of answer your question, the, the interesting thing you'll see is that a lot of the tournament and competitive players won't put any toppers or, um, like, flags on their car at all because it can be distracting or whatever. Volpiner. Volpine. Yeah, I don't know how you pronounce that. <laughs> uh, coming in for blue. Volpine R. Volpine R, sure. Come up with easier names, people. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> like, I, I like Wowza. That's, yeah. that's a pretty simple name. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so you'll see that yeah, most of these don't have toppers and stuff. But a lot of them, for some reason, it's okay to have customizable uh, boost sounds and things. They're fine with that. But toppers and uh, and flags, for some reason, that's that's taboo in many cases. I don't care. I do it. I don't. I, it doesn't matter to me. Yeah. And, I mean, I I understand competitive play, and but uh, when it comes to just having some fun over here. Oh, that was almost coming in. Yeah, just off the top crossbar there. So 
Uh, but looking at it, it still looks like this is pretty well dominated by Wings of Fire so oh, yeah. far in this match. But here comes a nice clear by Munchkin uh, for the, the goal. Yeah. Is that Munchkin. supposed that's supposed to be a blue it that's supposed to be a blue car, by the way. I feel like Munchkin's going incognito here. <laughs> yeah, I, I I I could definitely see that in a passing glance, if you were to look at that car, it would it would definitely trick me up. That's why I think in, in playoffs, the ones we cover will force him to be orange or blue. <laughs> yeah. Or red. I, I like red better, personally. But feels more, more first-ish. Haven't you noticed that also? To do a quick aside, most games, it is red and blue side. What What is up with that color scheme? I don't know. I just feel like maybe for those who are like uh, chromatic at all, maybe it's contrasting enough that they can tell what it is. Uh, but I don't, I don't know. That's just that's right. just my guess. That, have, that, that's a pretty good guess. Two of my best friends are uh, have some sort of color blindness, and it's funny because whenever we play board games together, uh, they have to have a specific color because they can't see it otherwise. Oh boy! It's coming up our final thirty seconds right now. Wings of Fire holding on to a one goal lead. Uh, 3,005, 3,409, and 16,762 have definitely made a bit of a comeback here after being down 3-0. Uh, so we'll see if we can get a final drive here in the final 20 seconds. See what's going on. We have Hawk 2K4 going through. Wow, this is dribbling it down the field, having control. Oh, we have... You have two from Wings of Fire all the way down, but you didn't have anybody in protecting your goal. Might have been too much commitment over here. I, you know, I'm kind of okay with that. I'm okay with that with only, you know, 10 seconds left. It's like pulling the goalie in, in hockey, you know? That's true. That is true. Sometimes you need to pull the six, man, the six on five. Wings of Fire going through. Taking the W here. Yeah, congrats to uh, Wings of Fire uh, for taking that. They're going to bump up to two and two. Uh, see, three thousand five, thirty-four, nineteen, sixteen, seven, six-two. We'll drop it down. We'll get you those results on standings coming up in just a moment. I don't know if any of the other matches are still available. I, I think it just disappeared from me. I don't think I'm able to join it. But. Mm. Maybe you're only allowed to join it at the beginning of the matchup. Yeah. Like in the first. No, all the other ones are done, actually. <laughs> oh, they're just done. Yeah. So our top eight starting to become a bit more solidified on here as Wings of Fire pops up into eight. Uh, and then as we keep going up, first NC squad uh, taking a win. But here's a loss by 84-17. Let's take a look at the uh, results hey, on up. here. First NC squad defeating 84-17, so that makes a lot of sense. That's a great matchup and one we might see again in the playoffs as well. So new matches should be coming up here in just a minute. But we'll go down through these results. Uh, 54-31, 30-15, 35, 38, defeating back the Strange. 537 41 59 gets a win against 3003 4309. Uh, 24 3 losing again, unfortunately. 537 69 41 59. We just talked about NC Squad taking it against Electric Legends. 1807 defeating the Gold Diggers. And we just saw Wings of Fire take out 3005 34 19 and 16 7 62. Does someone gift me the Rocket Pass, please? I don't even have the Rocket Pass. Gift it to me. <laughs> Gifted to the oh head commentator goodness. over here. Non subs asking for things, I tell you. Non subs. <laughs> uh, so right now, yeah, first NC squad, uh, pretty squarely in first place there, uh, having a full game lead over our next set of competitors. Um, let, let's see, is there going to be much movement down at the bottom? Because what it comes down to here for our standings is going to be who's right around that cusp inside of that, right around that top eight. Ah, it's going to be hard for yeah. 
anybody to really climb their way back into the top eight at this point. Over. Yeah, I mean, th I think 3,003 and 4,309, I mean, are the only ones really out um, because they, I don't think they'll have a tiebreaker. But any of the other teams still have a chance if they run it uh, for the next two and then get some help. Uh, and, of course, that could be predicated on what the matches look like as well, too. So we'll see. So new matches coming up here. We'll see what our tournament director, Chris, would like us to cover. And we'll let you know which ones we're going to be grabbing here. Yeah, if you do want to see a match, by the way, uh, just uh, appeal to Chris. It's his, it's his call, typically. We just go off of it. Because he's taking a look at those, and we don't get a chance to see those as, as quickly. CMAC13 over here saying that 4309 and 3003 for the win. Comeback time. Oh, yeah. And that they're still in this. Sure. <laughs> I'll bet you a rocket pass. How's that? You know what? <laughs> That's actually not a bad deal. If, <laughs> if somehow they climb their way to victory. Yes. And our director, Chris, is saying we're going to be catching the Electric Legends versus 5431, 3015, and 3538 match. Look at that. Oh, my son, Meth, you just got your request. What happened? Because uh, my son, Meth, uh, he said uh, that we should watch the 8417 game, which oh, is the go. one that we're going to be watching. Yep. Splash. Uh, we're covering the 84, 17 versus 54, 31, 30, 15 and three, five, three, eight match. That's what our tournament director, Chris has asked us to cover. We are trying to, we're trying to get a buffet of the teams out. You know, once we hit playoffs, then it will be a little bit more focused on that. But you know, during quals, we want to try to get every team a chance to be on air and on stream, get some good recognition that way. But we are humming along quickly. It's so one nice thing about this. This Face It program is really nice for just getting matches up and going, and they're on time, and <laughs> there's a lot, of, a lot of moving amazing. parts. Talk 2K4. We only played three, but it says two on two. I, I think everybody's played. Four, haven't they? I don't know what your special circumstances, but who knows? Uh, CMAC, like I said, just uh, appeal to uh, appeal to Chris, and uh, it's his call on that. So maybe. I'll spend my fun bucks. I don't care if you spend them or not. <laughs> they don't get it. They don't get me anything. Now, if you want to tempt me with bits or a subscription, now we're talking business. It's fun bucks. Fun bucks. <laughs> Here, let me let me spend my infinite fun bucks that I have. I literally have an infinity sign next to mine. Really? Yeah, as, as a streamer, I think you get that. Oh, Mice wow. on meth, I have 902,000 bits. That is a lot of money in uh, bits. That is a lot of money in bits. It's like, I don't know, what is that, like $1,200 in bits? No, wait, what is 1,000 bits, $10? 1,000 so. bits is like $10, so yeah. So that's like $12,000 in bits. <laughs> Holy cow. You, you have more money than I do in my checking account currently right now, sir. So. Watching ad glitch. Oh, all right. That's cool. You can just, I mean, you just donate all to us. I, I'll be perfectly fine with that. <laughs> all right, we're going to be hopping to our next match here.
Another interesting mashup coming up. Yeah, Electric Legends, of course, uh, one of the uh, top tier teams as they go through, and uh, we'll see how they do against 54 31, 30 15, and 3 5 3 8. I was confused for a moment there. Oh, as Wizzo scored in the midst of my confusion. So, uh, and just recapping here, both these teams are currently three and one uh, in this match. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, that one person does say G2 Kadov, and that is a name that I've been seeing a lot as of recently throughout all of the competitive play that I've been watching. Oh, what is man. it? Oh, G2. Uh. Festival Invader tying it up here uh, for 84-17. It's a little, nice little pass off himself. Just punches that right in. Nice speed, 117K. Those two goals have happened in only the first 30 seconds of this game. ID going through, having some control over here in the middle. Yeah, not a big fan of that pass, though. Uh, it's centered right on their side of the field. Yeah. Festival trying to get the double touch there. Not quite able to do so. Pistachio does get back in time, but passes it right over the Genesis. Gets some nice control in the center there. Festival Invader clears it out over on to the orange side. Wizzo for orange, trying to get up and in Genesis. Nice little save there. Back to Pistachio. Pistachio center could get a good double commit here. ID just missing it. Uh oh. Got a lot of action going on here, Tyler, in this match. A lot of back and forth. Yeah, two of our three and one teams looking to get a higher seed if possible. Both these teams pretty well locked in for the playoffs. Uh, but we'll see uh, who's able to take it. Right now, one to one, 330 left in this match. Yeah, I, I did with a pretty good pass clear there, um, but unfortunately, Pistachio, a little bit of mishandle. Yeah. Uh, so we get it back over. Now, Blue in control ID. Missing that arrow. Pistachio off the crossbar. Oh. Festive Invader. Gets a nice center in uh, Pistachio. Good control here by Blue, but Orange with the clear. Genesis up over to Wizzo. And back around it goes. Festive with the ID pass back over. Oh, oh! Straight through, snaking it through. Pistachio making the goal. A nice snake pass, Kadop. Oh, actually, no, it was Genesis. Nice goal. We are now looking at 2 1 with 255 left in this match. Yeah, going into this match, I, I would give a slight edge to the blue here. Obviously, they're both 3 and 1s, but looking at what I've seen before out of uh, Electric Legends 84 17, uh, I would probably give them a little bit of an edge on this, but we are seeing some good back and forth uh, on this as well. Pretty evenly matched so far as Wizzle. Wizzle looking to just punch it straight through ID, rejects it back out. Double commit there by blue could be an opportunity by orange, but does clear out enough for them to reset. Whistle with the clear Genesis back up, looking to punch that back over for center. Here comes Whistle up and over to K-Drop. Off the oh, left crossbar okay. there. Statue going through, having some control down, a little bit of a clear net there. Oh, but Wizzo come through the cross check. Nice demo there by Pistachio, trying to clear the way for Festive Invader. Not able to capitalize on that, but we'll see if they can reset. ID looking to get a upper dribble, but rejected there by Wizzo. Over commits there. K drop able to get back into the center. Festive Invader a slight clear, but ID able to finish that clear out. Over for 84-17. Go. Oh, that was that would have been a nice setup. But there, he had two defenders there from 
8417 ready to go through and help block. A little bit of a miscue warning. there as Wizzle gets bumped by his teammate. And here it comes, though. K-Drop ties it up 2-2. Two to two. So able to actually keep on going from there. You see K-Drop here. We're going to get it in. Id trying to clear. Unfortunately, that backflip actually just punches in. That might have gone off the crossbar otherwise. Here we go to kick off with 50 seconds left in this game. Two to two, all tied up. That was a pretty weak clear there by Blue. As we're really hoping to see if uh, Orange could capitalize a little bit more on that. Blue clears it out. ID trying to get to it. Genesis able to get there first. And they can see if they get a pop up here. Up and in they do. Genesis. Pops it up and through, just straight up too, no angle on that, but able to get the commit at the right time. And we could see a nice upset in the making here as Orange goes up 3-2, 30, 25 seconds left. We'll see, here comes the kickoff. I mean, we've, we could, we've seen we've seen last-second scores before. Oh, right off the crossbar. <laughs> was was it, so there was almost, almost one, unfortunately, for it would have been for Orange. <laughs> yeah. Have 10 seconds left. Four seconds, three. Keeping it up off the ground. Oh, oh. look at that as the ball is actually, you can yeah. actually see it in there. Oh my goodness. A nice victory there. Four, 54, 31, 30, 15, and three, five, three, eight. Nicely done. Nicely done. Well played. Well played game. Does look like we have a fielder matches still going, so we're uh, two matches still going. So let's take a look at the forty three oh nine and three thousand three match coming up here. Nope, that match just ended as well too. So we'll see if we can catch our last match. All ending at the same time about. Uh, so the gold diggers. We'll see if. They are still playing. And you see a five to three right now. Five to three with 17 Holy seconds. Holy cow. Yeah, and Blue just scored as well too. So what it was uh five it was five two prior. Splashy did just fine, I think. I I don't know. <laughs> you guys won, so congrats on that. If you're a part of that one, last second oh, score there. The last second. I feel like time expired on that. That was weird. No, well, one thing that I've noticed is that. Oh, okay. So it probably touched the ground and came up just barely before last second. So oh, splash is up in the air. Oh man, I don't know this TJ TGD. I don't know if they only had two players or not, but that bacon icon looks like they were throwing the match, so. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at our standings as we go through here. First NC squad, 5-0. and oh, We do have a 4-1 and one team. We just saw the 54-31, 30-15, 3 8 defeating the Electric Legends, 18-07. Three and two themselves, 537, 16, 19, 41, 59, three and two. Wings of Fire, three and two. And then we got a little bit of a gridlock here. We have three teams at two and three with two spots for it. Right now, 2403, just outside of that bubble. Still an opportunity, potentially, for one of these one and four teams. Uh, shout out to 4309 and 3003 uh, winning their first match. Take a look at those results there. Just saw the Gold Diggers uh, lose against the 537-1619-4159. We saw FTC 84-17 go down as well, too. Wings of Fire takes out Back to Strange. First NC Squad takes out 1807. They're just on a roll in 3003. 4309 gets their first win. 
2403 takes a win as well, too, against 537 and 4159. So we got our director, Chris, letting us know. Next match is going to be 4309 and 3003 versus the Gold Diggers. Oh, this looks like it might have gotten your request, whoever is asking for that. So the weird thing in Rocket League, I just want to say, is that they blue is always on the on one, like the first team listed, and then red is or orange is the second, and that's like opposite of first. So it always throws me off every time I see that. Oh man! I'm so used to red. Like you always as an MC, you always introduce red lines first, right? So yeah. It's, it's so it always throws me off every every time with that. Because because first thing you expect <laughs> is you're like, oh okay, they're gonna be on red side. Yeah, exactly. Nope. They're on blue side. Um, let's go and take a quick look at those standings again. Yeah. Through and see. So based on looks on current points, 2403 is going up. So the, our, the number nine rank is going up the number 12 rank. And it is possible, I'm not going to say that it is, that they're going to win, but it is possible that 2403 can get the win against the 12 ranked team. Well, and that the one we're looking at, which is going to be the Gold Diggers versus 4309, 3003. Uh, if you are 2403, you desperately need 3003, 4309 to win uh, to send exactly. the Gold Diggers down as well, too. Who's back to Strange Plane? Um, I didn't, I didn't catch who back to strange was playing let's see if i can grab it here uh they were playing 537 and 4159 who's in 10th as well too so pretty much 7 8 9 10 uh, the lower half are all playing each other holy cow so, this is gonna be an interesting matchup because a lot of people could be getting kicked out a lot of yeah. tiebreakers could be happening we're, we're gonna see a lot and so that means that the upper half is playing each other as well C Max says in chat, 3003, 4309 for the win. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. Technically, Rocket League is orange versus blue. Yeah, we know. We've been saying orange, but like it's just very confusing for us uh, as FRC, FTC first commentators <laughs> when it's orange, yeah. not red. C Mac, we're back in it, lads. We're going all the way. Yes. That's confidence, and confidence is key, C Mac. Keep it going. <laughs> um Trevor Knight just asked how much either of us have played Rocket League. Well, as I've mentioned earlier, I have just downloaded the game for the first time today. I just bought it and downloaded it today, so my Rocket League amount is zero. But the amount of visual watching is pretty high. Uh, I have played 3,639 matches with a 54.2% win rate. Win rate. Holy cow. Now that's a number. Uh, time played, 5 days, 11 hours, 3 minutes, 24 seconds. I, I've had Rocket League since it came out. Um, so, oh, okay. and I've gone very back and forth. There's times where I used to like, I used to play rocket league all the time. Then I stopped for probably over a year at some point. Uh, and then I just kind of came back and, and now I probably play about a dozen matches a week or something like that. It, it, I like it a lot. Cause I, if I just want to take a quick breather from work or something like that, um, and believe it or not, I work outside of fun. Uh, rocket league is great. Cause I can just play, you know, play something for eight minutes and it's just kind of a nice way to decompress a little bit. Uh, it seems as if that this game is a lot easier to go and jump into because that's what I used to do with League of Legends. I'd go through, yeah. especially in college, like I'd just be like, you know what, I'm going to go play a match of League, but a match of League sometimes would be an hour and a half. Oh, yeah. And it would it tends to be a lot more stressful and strenuous than actually doing schoolwork in some cases. So... This seems like a much easier game that you could pick up, 
go and play a match. I think go I, play three matches. I think I gotta swap the teams around here. Yep. Did I get that right? There we go, yep. The gold diggers. So, dude, dude, the gold diggers only have two players? Do they? How, where, where, I think that these guys were the guys. Oh my Jesus, that ping. He's sleeping. <laughs> I'll hop in and play. Is that legal? No. <laughs> That's what I thought. He's sleeping. Oh boy. Oh boy. If I could happen, I would. I don't know how. So yeah, another 2v3 matchup, unfortunately. It's hard to find good partners, I tell you. Yeah. Especially ones that like to sleep a lot. There's an easy goal there by Bacon getting it in. Or apparently Forehead is his name in uh, Rocket League. But A-OK, -okay, nice pass there off the top crossbar into Bacon. You don't need it, apparently. <laughs> well, they are up on the nil, <laughs> one nil so far. Uh, as we uh, go through, uh, tiebreakers. There's uh, Tribor, There's, I forget what it's called. There's some sort of weird tiebreaker thing that's in face it. I'm not. I don't have no clue what makes it the tiebreaker there. CMAC is defending this corner and keep. It seems as if this them having to play two on three consistently. A-OK -okay going through, dribbling oh. it down the middle. That was... These guys seem to have been able to hold themselves pretty well con consistently playing these 2v3 matches. I mean, we're at four minutes in and it's 2-0 on kickoff. Whoa! Yeah, nicely done by Blue uh, so far. And yeah, just going off of Treeboard's comment, uh, you know, if you're new to Rocket League, getting used to uh, ball cam. I think it's a very difficult thing for people. Usually when I play with them the first time, uh, their brain just does not work on ball cam. And you have to get used to ball cam if you want to play. you got to use to both, really, uh, if you want to play and play well. Uh, I think after that, good dribble control uh, is good. Power shots, another thing. And then lastly, aerials. Uh, if you can kind of start to develop those one-on-one, -on -one, which I'm, of course, still working on myself, uh, you start, you start to see a lot more control, which is why I love playing hoops and drop shot because you get a lot more aerials off of that. you got to get used to the double jumps uh, and getting control of your uh, car that way as well. Uh, this will be our last match before our break because we'll head in the playoffs after this, but we will play some exhibition matches, and I'll type in the chat uh, what you need to do in order to join those, uh, and we can play that way. Uh, and... Uh, We'll see what happens uh, as we go through. Lots of uh, lots of interesting uh, implications for the playoffs coming up here. And Brian, if you want to play uh, during that time, if you need to take a break, either way, man, we'll we'll make it happen. Oh, I'll, I'll go through. I, I'd be interested. C Mac, the NRG fanboy, from what it seems, <laughs> went through, made a nice off the ceiling hit straight into their goal for the gold diggers. It's Seeming to be a very interesting matchup here with half of the match gone away going into our fourth kick into our third kickoff here. So you just saw that I don't mean to call bacon out, but sometimes he's a scapegoat on a lot of our conversations. Uh, <laughs> in the in the double jump there with that, like you'll kind of see where that confidence lies on things. If you get people to start doing double jumps. You'll, you'll see it because you'll get to the ball faster. And when I mean double jump, it means that you're pressing your jump, then jump immediately right after that. And it sends your car boosting uh, much more forward, but you 
if you're not used to aerial control, you lose a lot of control because your car starts moving a lot faster. A-OK -okay there, very nice uh, goal. You saw that nice aerial spin there. And just That's watch this nice. as you see the control go through. And so you heard that, like, the jump and then the pop. And that's that double jump there. And that's why he got to the ball faster uh, than what the uh, Orange Alliance at 3,000, 3,43,09 were able to. Wow. Brian's never played before, Trebor, so I think I would probably demolish him if we... I'm not, I mean, I'm not... Like I said, I'm a plat player. I'm not great by any means, but uh, I think I'd but probably... You're, you're, you're good enough. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd probably be able to beat Brian if he hasn't really played. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, th th I've, I think I played one game at a friend's house once, yeah. and I was like, "How do you control this?" Yeah, those who can't do commentate, right? Exactly. <laughs> that's, and I think that's why I stopped playing League too, because I'm like, you know what? I should go through and start learning how to shoutcast for yeah. League. Because like, playing the game, not really working out for me. I, used to, I, I did used to play a lot of League a long time ago. I mean, probably like 2016, 2015, maybe. Yeah. Actually, same for me. Yeah. That's when I was at my tip top. I started getting too many characters, and then just I'm like, nah, I'm good. Oh, my goodness. A-OK, -okay, unfortunately, knocking it out of Bacon's reach there for another goal. Uh, but, of course, up 3-1 to one with less than a minute remaining. C-Mac looking to take it in. Can they do it? Off the pass, he got it. Oh, he got it. 46 seconds left of this match. He got the commit there from AOK -okay right at the end, and that's actually what put it in, but sometimes you rely on that as well, too. So, Red's got a chance. Orange got a chance. 3,003, Once again, against the Gold Diggers in blue. But, good chance. 40 seconds is a lot of time to make something happen. Bacon, big miss there. A-OK, -okay, able to recover. And you can see the, the double jumps there. That's really where it comes into. It's not A-OK, -okay, able to finish that out. If you're able to double jump, you're just going to be able to boost so much further ahead. And that's why A-OK -okay -okay got the ball first. A-OK -okay just coming along with that slight flick touch right into the center of that goal was wide open. You're at 30 seconds with two goals down. As 3003 and 4309, you're not, you're, you're, you're starting to get a little, you're starting to feel the pressure here. Yeah. An orange looking like they're not really leading anybody back now. Uh, there's a nice extra touch. I'm not quite able to get much going with it. Blue oh, just trying to get one more goal. Uh, C Mac kind of had a free dribble there. Give it an extra touch. As time expires, the Gold Diggers taking this one 4-2. This is we're gonna have some very interesting uh some interesting movement here in our uh standings for this game. A yes. lot of movement's gonna be happening. Let's take a look. Or no movement. Look at this. First NC squad goes down in their first match. What? Against 54 31, 30 15, and 35 38. Two teams now at 5 and 1. That. Oh my goodness. That is impressive. That means that the Giant can bleed. And it'll lead to something interesting because since this is one round elimination going into the playoffs. First NC squad could just not be in it. Yeah, I'm not quite sure behind it because really there's no implications there with that. We'll let the final match results uh, repopulate here. And here they are, your top eight teams, 2403, just outside of the top eight. Number eight, the Gold Digger, seven, Back to Strange, six, 1807, five, Wings of Fire, four, FTC 84, 17, 3, 537, 16, 19, 41, 59, 2, first NC squad. And taking it with the tiebreaker, 54, 31, 30, 15, and 35, 38 secures your number one seed. Uh, so as mentioned, the uh, matches are going to take a bit of a break, but we're, uh, we'll create a match here. Let's play some drop shot. Why not? 
Brian, if you're in chat, by the way, I'm going to just put it in commentators. You can join first if you want. Yeah. Hey, Chris. What's up? Hey there, Chris. I'm making the bracket right now. Perfect. So Chris is going to make the bracket there. Um, I'm going to create a match. And if you're interested in just uh, playing, we're going to play a little bit of drop shot. Uh, and we'll let teams go in. Um, Chris, I think, uh, just speaking aloud, for the matches that we're going to cover, uh, do you mind if I create the match for those? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. They'll just give, give me a little bit more control when stuff starts uh, on here. Uh, do you want to watch, like, the the five versus four, probably? Yeah, you pick out whichever ones you want, and, and we'll do that as we go through. So. Um... Okay, I'm searching for drop shot and USB. So no, yeah. So you actually need to go to a private match. Oh. But I just realized oh, I, I private played. Private match. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna okay, re I'm gonna restart this. Match. Yeah, but I'm gonna restart it. So hold on a second, because I you got it. just realized I put mutators on, and we don't want spike rush. So. <laughs> Okay, now you should be able to join that. So if you're interested in playing along, by the way, uh, if you want to join, uh, it's just uh, fun and fun. Let's join Red. Oh! See, I can set up Red and Blue this way, so... So we'll let some other people join. I'm sure we can start playing. So have you? So do you know what drop shot is at all? No. So it's like volleyball, where if the ball lands on your side, it's going to start lighting up these tiles, and if it lands twice on a tile, the floor is going to drop out underneath, and that's where the goal is formed. Oh no! I put. I sorry guys. I did not know that rumble was on. My bad. <laughs> so this is going to be kind of ridiculous. Oh, rumble drop shot is, 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 wow. This is, this is, this is a little crazy. Yeah. Oh, it's so hard to like prep shots on this. Okay, I need to stop hitting the space bar. That's what I need to <laughs> Oh, you're playing on keyboard? Yep. Oh, man. Uh, some people love keyboard. I, I can't do it. I've tried it, and it's not for me. Bam! K-drop with the gold. Is this set up for 4v4 too? Oh, must be. Uh, Chris, can you comment on how tiebreakers are decided? We had a couple questions for that. Uh, yeah, it's the uh, bull colt score. K Dop, sorry. Pick an easier name. I'm sorry, what was that? It's called the bull colt score. It's like standard for. Uh, um, Swiss system uh, tournaments. So is it based off of goals or what is it based on? Uh, I don't know what it is. You know I mean? Wikipedia page. I wonder if it's like how the World Cup does it. Uh, it was originally developed for, uh, I guess, a chess tournament. Oh. Like for chess tournament. Oh, so it's a point um, system. 
Oh, so it's based on, um, it's based on win-loss, but, like, if you lose to someone that has a higher bulk hole score, you would, like, lose less points than if you were to win by someone who had... Oh, okay. So it's almost kind of like a, like an elo. Yeah. Look at that, look at that. Most amount of damage, most points, that's right. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, so what's behind the name Pampers Baby Wise Man? Uh, are you asking me? Well, that is your name. Mine is, mine is Huggies Baby Wise. Hu oh, sorry. Uh, my Thank friend, you. who is also on the uh, 4159 with me, is Pampers Baby Wipes. Okay. And he's actually participating. He's on the uh, the third seeded team. Oh, you're not you're not playing? Uh, I am playing, but uh, I'm on the the last seeded team. Oh, gotcha. But uh, my my the Pampers is on uh, the third seeded team because he wanted to not play. He's like really good at the game and wanted to play with people that were also really good at the game. So he didn't like you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. It is 4v3 right now, I will say. So. Uh, best of one or best of three, somebody's asking. I think finals are best of three. Is that right? Uh, yeah. But the Octo, not Octo, there's, well, yeah, Octo Finals. No, it's and, uh, Quarter Finals. Quarter Finals. No, Quarter Finals and Semi Finals, right? Are just best of one. No! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> did, did you just do that? <laughs> no, oh. no. I was actually, I was actually trying to go through and use one of the mutations that I had. I got. Oh. But you, oh, Kadop went through and used the same mutation I was gonna use. That's what. I'm Finally, get a tornado. I just like tornado because I just love messing everybody up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Blue Alliance is the winner. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna back out and reset this here. So, uh, play private. Create private. Mutator settings. None. How do I just turn off mutators? I think not? you can press like Y or something to restore defaults. There we go. Thank you, sir. Why well, I'll start at the top of the hour. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll set about 10 minutes before I'll set that up. You want unlimited boost? We can do that. We'll have one more match. We can do that.
just feel like my frame drops right now. I have no clue how I demoed somebody there. Alright, I'm just gonna chill here until somebody else joins. We need one more person to join, so it's three on three at least. Otherwise, I'm just gonna power slide this. If you want to play fun and fun, easy enough. Let's give this like an aerial view. Brian, which one are you? I'm not in that match for oh. some reason. But I'm currently in something. And I'm just practicing. Oh, <laughs> like you can back out of that. Unless it's a ranked match, there's no penalty for that. Do I really have the sub to do fours? Jesus. You did it! I done something. So I think I think for this, a lot of people like playing either the Dominus or the Hot. What's the other one called? What's the flat car called? I forget. The Batmobile. No, well, there's that, but uh, Burnout, I think. I think Burnout and uh, Dominus have the same hitbox. Though. Sure, but I think for hoops, those are more popular uh, to play. Uh... <laughs> this is just madness on hoops. This is madness. Oh, break breakout? Yeah, thank you. Splash says it has a different hitbox. Passing myself. That's, uh... <laughs> you were just standing right there and you were just like, oh, pop, pop. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. You both went for it. It's better for freestyling. Hmm. I actually used to play the breakout, but... But I do like how much... I don't know, I, I do like the control of... I forget the name of this car. What's the most common car called? Giz... No. Uh, the Octane. 
Yeah, Octane, thank you. I do overall like to control the Octane. Oh, oh, so close. Is that a purchase car? I think the only car I ever purchased was the Back to the Future one. Just because I thought it looked so cool when it first came out. Uh, I have it. I, it's labeled as green. I think I got it in the same package that you did with Scarab. Oh. Oh yeah, packs. Huh? So that's the last time I purchased, last time I did anything with this, there were no packs or anything like that. Oh! Right at the last second. Calculated. We're just gonna tie it up. All right. Well, enough time to play one more after this, and I'm gonna. I think I'll make it more normal. Well, that didn't last long. <laughs> that didn't last long either. Hot losers. Private match. It says teen size 3v3. How are people joining to make it four? I have no idea. That's so weird. I will be right back. Yep. Uh, this monster cat's getting a little extreme here. Oh, change the name. I'm sorry. My bad. What happened, Bacon? The throws.
Ah, oh, I was trying to jump over that. I don't know how I didn't, but... Oh, I'm so not used to 3v3. You should play duos. How can people join 4v4? It's so weird. Alright, so after this then we'll set up for playoffs, which will start at top of the hour. Oops. Oh shoot. What's up? Uh. Frantic typing by Chris. There you go. Oh. Nice shot. Shrek CDs. Okay. Two minutes, one to one. Get it in there. Oh. There we go. Oh. oh that was an awesome miss boost there. Center in. No boost. Wait. So many mentions. I'll be nice to each other. How about I just go after Bacon? We'll see what he does. <laughs> I 
And we still score. Extra tap on that. Keep it going. Boo. Good game, guys. All right. Time to head into face it. We're going to be starting matches just a little bit. So I'm grabbing 4B5, 8417 versus Wings of Fire. Some weird music Monster Cat's playing right now.
All right, plus we'll be starting in just a few minutes. Our first matchup is going to be our number four versus five alliance. We actually are going to have red alliance and blue alliance in these um, as well. So four versus five as we go through. In four, we have 8417 Electric Legends team. And in five, 51 Wings of Fire. Coming up in just a few minutes. Stand by. Seen a million places, touched a million skies. They say there ain't a good without goodbyes. Oh, you and me, we sometimes seem like day and night. But you should know that I, I'll keep you right by my side till the day I die, till the day I die. Keep you right, girl. Keep you right by my side till the day I die, till the day I die. Such a wild ride, till the day. All right, welcome back, everybody. Once again, we'll be starting our playoffs in just a couple of minutes here as our teams join in. They still fly in the right login. Chris, are you joining us for commentary too? Uh, probably not. <laughs> <All right>. oh. <laughs> figure out, figure I ask. All right, so we're going to be hopping into our quarterfinals once again. Let's see if we can get our teams in here. Looks like they are joining in. Hey, that's always good. That's always really good. Okay, a little bit of a weird false start there, but uh, we'll get it going. All right. Dog's just going on. That's all right. So once again, in red, we have number four, 8417 in blue. And yes, these are truly red and blue. 
uh, we have Wings of Fire. And it even forces their skins to be that, so no, none of that camo stuff going on here. Hey, that's always good. <laughs> it, even, it was even tricking us up a bit there. There you go. Free score there for Pistachio off of the assist of Festive Invader. So as Pistachio passes it here, Festive Invader just a nice little touch gets it past Twig. And Pistachio drives it home. one nothing for Wings of Fire. Or do I have those opposite? Oh, I have those opposite. I don't know why they're opposite on there. That's weird. That is weird. All right, we'll fix that. Goes through another goal for Pistachio. Pistachio being the MVP of this game, apparently. Going through a nice pass from Go Home and and just straight down center. Nice single touch. And here we are on kickoff. Nice block by RK. Pistachio going to come in. Oh, Pistachio does one tap in. They got all three there around goal for Wings of Fire. <laughs> RK is able to bring it down, dribble it all the way across down the field. Had himself open, taps it in, scores it right down smack dab center of the goal. Yeah, very, very nice. Two and one. Two be one. Uh, just answer a question, chat, ETM, OPTH. Uh, it is a, it's a public-ish tournament. Uh, we are featuring another quick goal there by Wings of Fire. Uh, this is actually for something uh, called First Updates Now, which we are a program that is a media content company uh, that covers something called First, uh, which is in the competitive robotics community. So we're just a, a group of people who are part of this competitive robotics community uh, who also like to play other games as well, too. So that's where this is birthed out of. Uh, but if you want more info, you can join our Discord, discord.gg forward slash first updates now. This is in a different Discord uh, that doesn't have its own unique URL, but there's links for it uh, in Fun's Discord as well, too. Uh, so I'm not sure if you're part of the first community or not, uh, but if you are, definitely open. If you're not, um, hey, you can learn more about it, and we might be able to get you in for this as well. Uh, another quick goal there by uh, Electric Legends 8417 as they go up 3-2. to two. This is a very fiery matchup we have over here. Going against our number our number five against our number four here. With only two minutes gone inside of this game. Yeah, very evenly matched as, as you mentioned here. You know, you saw Wings of Fire take a couple uh, big ones here, but oh a quick little donk there by Pistachio. Tiny Twig able to get it up and out almost four to two there. Nicely done, as right now it does look like Electric Legends 8417 applying a lot of the pressure. Uh, right now, his ball is staying mostly on the blue side of the pitch. Oh, and Festive Invader coming through after the double commit to block it out of there from Hawk. But Festive Invader straight down the center. Nice. Nice. Just open goal. Here we are on the pitch with a kickoff. Pronounce that name, by the way. <laughs> I'm just going to call him RK. Yeah. Nice little tap there. Festival Invader went right in the middle, so able to get deflected back out. Two defenders there over on blue. Festive Invader trying to get another one going up and in. Misses the flip. ID able to get a little bit of a clear and a little donk as they go through Twig. Tiny Wig. Sorry, I'm just going to call him Twig. Uh, Tiny Wig in the back area. Everybody's got such difficult names, I tell you. RK able to pass it there. Looks like a free goal there. Can they get the save? Festive oh, Invader. Invader. A lot of passing back and forth here, Tyler. It's seems that these guys are just having one heck of a time just passing control here in the midfield. Yeah, like I said, they still seeing so much of that pressure. Nobody's back for blue right now. But red not able to capitalize and get it in. Red Alliance not quite able to do so. Once again, our number four seed in red versus five seed in blue. Not orange anymore. It's definitely red. Coming back over 
Over on the wall is RK. See if somebody can capitalize on that. Oh. Center ball just gets tipped away by Pistachio. Yeah, Blue really needs to get something driving here. Uh, just not enough pressure being put on right now. Just easy deflections happening off of red. Uh, RK trying to get something going a little bit. Pistachio deflects off back over to Hawk. Pistachio, nice center over to ID who misses it. Fessman Vader looking for a tap up and corner in. Very nice shot by Festive Invader. Nice little dunk there by Pistachio. Festive Invader makes it a very tough save off the crossbar and in 5 2. Looking like it's all going to be right now for 84 17. Yeah, it's real hard to come back from a, five, from a three goal deficit there, Tyler. Uh, Volpine, so we're only covering one match per each round, uh, so the other matches are going on. We'll cover the results of that afterwards, uh, but only one per round. And then, of course, the finals will be best of three, three. We will cover each one of those. Just makes the tournament go along so people don't have to wait uh, for us to go through. We're going to get a cross up there. Pistachio couldn't get it down enough for Festive Invader. Pistachio, though, applying pressure still. Final 30 seconds up by three goals. Tiny Wig demoed by Pistachio. And Brian Blue just not able to get the momentum going here. No, they're not. It seems as if they're not able to. It seems as if there's some slight miscommunication, some slight miscues just everywhere just happening. Uh, Blue just doesn't seem to be having it together yet coming in from this three goal deficit. So, very interesting thing about this, though, is the winner, you think, would immediately go out and play the North Carolina team, but they lost their last match, pushing to the number two seed, so it'll be on the other side of the bracket. But GG's all the way around. Electric Legends takes this one and takes the match. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to ask our tournament director here, if he's listening, Chris, uh, do results update him face it at all? Uh, there's not the face it one doesn't have, we're not doing the elims. Yeah. Yeah. So how do we know, so, who, uh, how do we know who won? So, uh, I am actually have a bracket, like an online bracket pulled up right now. Do you oh. want me to like share screen or something? Uh, if you can send me the link, that'd be great. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Link sharing. Yeah. We'll, Always the best way. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll pull that up. Like, then. see that and or edit it. Okay. You just, are you, oh, you panned it to me. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, requires me to have a login. Weird. Okay. Um, I can send you a screenshot, I guess. Yeah, that works. Um, I don't have all the matches in yet. Just a couple, just three. Yeah, no, once you get them in, just let me know and we'll, we'll, we'll go through it. Who won the match that was streamed? Was it 84-17? Yes. I don't know why, but it's making these, like, black bars. That's okay. Uh, uh, so just looking off, uh, we only have initial results from two of the matches so far. Our number one seed, 54-31, uh, 30-15, 35-38, defeating the Gold Diggers. And we're still waiting for match results from the other matches as we go through, which will be coming up in just a little bit. Yeah, Chris, just send me the uh, the once all four and just send me that if you don't mind. Yeah. Well, thank you, sir. Here's all four matches. There we go. We'll take a look. I'll bring it up here in a second. We can look at those results, everybody. Chris frantically typing to get us the results. And we can look at Chris's desktop as well, too, at the same time. Why not? Yeah. Am I screen sharing? Uh, no, but your desktop is, like, showing, you know, because you oh, have a full okay. screen on your thing. Maybe I'll full screen it next time. <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. I can, I can cut it out. It's fine.
<laughs> yeah, cut out. Bam. All right, so match results once again, 54-31. 30-15 and 35-38 takes first match against 84-17. And then 18-07 and first NC squad, which is the next match we're going to watch, uh, are moving on as well, too. So we'll say goodbye to 537-60-19-41-59. Bacon, uh, Bacon, I'm just going to just gonna do yours now so I don't forget about it. Bacon says hello with 3,000 fun bucks and wants it redeemed. So hello, Bacon. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, first NC squad beating the Back to Strange. So Back to Strange is out as well, too. Um, and we'll go through that. Um, so let me set up that match so they know. Uh, you're making the. Uh, I'm gonna make NC the. Squad one. Yep. Uh, which team are they? Like by team numbers. Uh, they are fifteen, thirty-three, forty-eight, twenty-nine, and fifty, sixty-four. Okay. They couldn't put their team number in because Face It said it was like explicit language or something. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense to me. Yeah. Uh, so that is 1807-1. What rank was 1807? Let's look. Was six, so an upset there. So we're going to have 2B6 playing this. Uh, and then the other one is 1807. All right, let's get that set up here. So is there a uh, loser's bracket also going on as well? Uh, there's not. Ah, uh, okay. Single elimination. Got it. So we have NC Squad number two versus number five, number six. Oh my goodness, there we go. Let's make sure I got those right. 1807 versus, sorry, first NC squad. First NC squad. That is important. <laughs> I think they're all from North Carolina, and that's what yeah. the. So 1807. All right. Looks like we should be good to start this match here in just a moment, then. All right, so first NC squad coming in. Uh, I think they already did play each other, uh, so I think we'll take a look at this here. So I think we'd expect a victory from our number two seed, but never know. Anything could happen. Oh, yeah, anything can happen. Yeah, so, yep, they did play each other. Uh, it did look like that. The 1807 did lose to first NC squad. So we're in a couple more players, looks like. 
There we go. <clears throat> and here we go once again, number two versus number six, two in red and six in blue. Looking for a quick score there. Quintic, deflected by P90. Let's say clear out. Tuck's looking to get a touch in just off the left crossbar. Quintic looking to do the same. P90 not quite able to get that clear. Here comes Fawn8. Missing there. Snazzy looking to follow up there for blue. Bit of a weak touch, unfortunately. Quintic takes advantage. And up and in comes your first goal. Quintic takes it in for the first NC squad. And in this team here, Tyler, we do have our we did we do have two Grandmasters winners over here. Yeah, you're talking about for the first NC squad, no doubt yeah, uh, on that. Squad. But some of those are from a, from a while ago, and sometimes, you know, getting a Grandmaster, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to dilute it or anything like that, but, uh, you know, if it's from Season 9, you know, you don't know how that player's been since. Yeah, that's true. That person's going to take it some time off, because whenever you don't use, you'll lose. That's, well, and just the meta of the game has evolved a little bit, too, on there, but we do see a second quick score there from Tux. Tux. Goes up 2-0. A nice little touch up to that corner. Oh, almost a third goal there off the kickoff from Tux. Snazzy able to get it out of the way. Fawn 8. Deflected out by Tux. Speedy to Tux. Trying to get a nice volley going here, Fawn 8, with a little bit of a clear. Quintic, looking to get a center up here. Oh, none of his teammates were up there. They, they were expecting it to come back over. Yeah, it's a little bit hard of a touch uh, there as you go through. You want to get a little bit nicer. P90, a little bit of hesitation by Blue. 1807's got to get some pressure going on here. Swirl and in touch. by Speedy. I don't know the tree board. I don't know what the current requirements for Grandmaster are. I think you, you have to do 10 matches in that tier off the top of my head. I might be able to be corrected, but in order to get the banner for it, I should say. Nice slip in by Fawn8. Tux with the save. Snazzy or the P90 looking to just get in. Oh, Nobody's home. Tux with the steal. Quintic passing it all the way down. Just yeah. nice little you know, flick it's, it. It's the playoffs. Corner. There's nothing wrong with the goal steal. You just got to win, right? Yeah. Grand Platt. <laughs> yeah. That's where I'm about at right now, uh, Volpine. So. Quintic Splinters off the kickoff was looking to have a nice shot in, but it was blocked off by P90, if I'm not mistaken. Nice save. P90 flicking it into the bottom corner. Oh, and it goes in from Fawn 8 go. downtown from the corner. I mean, Blue's still holding their own pretty well for, for how, how much of a weighted match this would be on paper. Uh, it is nice to see Blue get a goal in and get it to the 3-1. to one. Two minutes, 17 seconds. Looks like we got a Thunder Chicken time over here. <laughs> hey -oh. All those four-digit teams sad that they cannot be uh, talked about during the Rocket League stream. <laughs> At a good bit because, you know, the highest number you can have is 459. Oh, you know, there you go, right? So. the highest. Not even Lost Gorillas get a chance to be on here, so. Yeah, no. Oh, some nice dribbling from over here from the corner and from by Fawn 8, but uh, Tux came along and said, nope, you're not going into my goal. 
do you think this is? Oh, a touchback uh. from Tuck! Coming in for a nice, lovely score. Quinn Splinters passing it off. Goes off to Spitty off the backboard. Tuck's coming in. Bounce up off the floor into the middle of the goal. Great goal there. Score 4-1 with 134 left in this match. Well, it was 234. I could comment on that. I don't know who 134 is. Tucks another one. Drains it 5-1. to one. Starting to get up a little bit out of reach here for 1807. It is only a minute left in this match. It's going to be it's very difficult for you to go through and score from a four goal deficit. Almost saw another kickoff goal there. There, P90 luckily came in with the save. Speedy coming in, bringing it down off the backboard. Speedy coming back in off the backboard mm. to make that score further, widening this gap six to one. I mean, even getting the ball first there, Tucks obviously. Uh just able to get the clearly to the ball during kickoff first before Blues even able to do so. Um, just yeah. some nice, nice little side flips. P90. Over to Quinnitech, nice clear. Over to Tux. Tux looking to drain it. Not quite. Fawn 8 with a pop up there. Trying to beat Splinters to the ball. Not able to do so. Fawn 8 trying to get that side deflection and goes for it one more time. I mean, it's nice to get that good clear like that, but you got to start getting a little bit more centered as we get into upper echelons of the playoffs here. You want to start yeah. seeing those uh, have a little bit more control in the clears. Uh, Snazzy trying to get something in. P90 looking to finish here. Not quite able to do so. Speedy gets the ball quicker. Demoed by Vaughn 8. P90 going through try and help defend his back corner. Tuck's coming in. Oh, Speedy almost taking out that ball, putting in the final score. It looks like P90 is trying to keep it up in the air, but it touches the ground and the mat. Yeah, GG's all the way around. Tux is our MVP with four goals. And they're gonna advance onto the finals. We'll find out who they're gonna play here in just a moment. Stand by. Let's see if I can move these. Uh, for some reason, the templates I got have orange and blue on the wrong sides. I don't know why. Let's see if I can switch it. Flip horizontal? Yeah! Just gotta do this a few times now. All right, just got the screenshot from our tournament director here. We'll take a look. Yeah, it does look like we're going to have an 84-17 upset. So 84-17 going to play first NC squad a rematch that we saw earlier today. So we'll get that lobby set up here in just a moment. All right, so that's going to put 8417 as our red alliance.
And they are playing first NC squad. NC squad. All right, so once again, this is going to be a best of three as we play on these. Predictions, Brian, going into this match? It's going to definitely be a nice matchup. Um, we've seen both of these play these teams play great in their own respective matches throughout qualification throughout the first starting round um one thing that i was looking at in general discussion for the uh rocket league tournament for fun it's from what somebody's saying season one champs versus season two champs oh. i have no idea if there's any merit behind that that would be I, awesome I can't reference uh bacon i will make a poll thank you for that not um i i First NC squad has a lot of playmaking ability. Seems as if their individual players are able to go through and help predict each other's movements. And they're able to, I don't know if there's extra communication that they're going through really well with each other. I don't know if it's something just because of their mechanical play, but they are able to be one as a unit and be able to be, uh, uh, talk off of each other, but FTC 48-7 has a really good chance. Yeah, we'll see. I'm going to give my edge to the uh, NC squad, uh, just looking between their first matches here. NC squad seems to be more cohesive, uh, but chat, there is a poll up right now for the next two minutes. Vote in the Twitch chat on who you want to see uh, win. Right now, three votes for first NC squad one for 18-17, but first goal already scored here by first NC squad and speedy Takes it and right away. A little flick off the backboard into the center of the goal. Yeah, I think Speedy a little surprised by that. Uh, that they're able to get their own rebound uh, off of that. Uh, so we'll see as we go through. Uh, season one versus season two champs says Bacon. So uh, very interesting to see, no doubt. I have to admit, I was kind of hoping to see uh, the number one seed make it through just because we didn't really get to see too much of a chance for them to play. Uh, but nonetheless, two fantastic uh, sets of teams here playing for the Season 3 Championship here on Fun. By the way, if you're interested in more of this, make sure you join the Fun Discord. Uh, and then there's a link in there to join this Discord uh, as well, specifically for Rocket League. Love to have you sign up and play. Of course, free to do so. And we'd love to have you be part of the community. A lot of close shots here by Tux and uh, Speedy. They are just hammering in on 84-17, but 84-17 is just able to keep this ball out of their goal and keep that control and play that counter. Yeah, big miss there by Festive Invader though, um, but luckily able to recover. Pistachio looking to get over to ID. ID trying to get up and in. Tux able to get the clear out. Here comes Festive Invader a little bit back. Speedy once again looking for that double tap. Up in. One more. Gets a nice clear though by Id. Very nice positioning by Id to be able to be in a clearing position there. Speedy not quite able to get it. Festive Invader clips it out. Splinters up and in. Hard touch. Able to get it in even off the deflection there. Let's take a look at this replay. Yeah, it just not quite able to get in the right position there. Nice score by Quinitic, sending NC squad up 2-0. Uh, chat, by the way, voting for 84-17 uh, by one vote uh, on this. So uh, we'll see. NC squad looking pretty good in match number one. Of course, this is best of three. This is. And anything can happen in a best of three. You can always just lose that first game. Oh, uh, there you go. go. 
over the entirety of first and C squad. Vessive Invader keeping that all up in the air. We see that Tux was trying to get it, but just miscalculated it slightly to get that first goal and get him first on the board. Two minutes, 55 seconds left in this match. Couple demos coming on here immediately. You can feel the tension rising between this. ID able to get a clear out off of Speedy. Here comes ID once again. Passer with Pistachio. A little bit dangerous, but able to get it out in time. Pistachio looking for a foul up here. Tux gets the tap, though. Over to Speedy. Back over onto the Red Alliance side. ID deflection off. Fest Invader looks to take control there. And they'll go for that one more time. See, Tyler, this is what I was talking about earlier. These guys have amazing and precise abilities of just passing it back to each other and having some great form of communication or just having some great mechanics and being able to play off of each other. Well, I think that's the hard part in general, you know, for those going from a beginner to intermediate and then looking to go past that is being cognizant of where your partners are in the field and knowing that you can pass and how to pass. So many people know how to shoot, uh, but a lot of people don't know how to pass well and bad passes lead to bad mistakes. And that's something you're yeah. seeing uh, both of these teams here uh, doing a good job. There's a great example as Tux almost able to get the deflection back in, but cleared out once again by 84-17. And it did take a double commit to make sure these guys are showing some crazy amount of respect for each other and their playing ability. Open goal by Pistachio. Can he knock it in? Last touch, Pistachio able to get it past. Ties it up 2-2. Two to two. 125 left in match number one. Watch this little extra tap here. Pistachio gets it just past and able to get it in. Nicely done. Ties it up 2-2 two two. as kickoff comes here. 125 left. Fest Invader gets the first touch. Quintic, uh, Quintic able to get a little bit of a clear and try to get in the middle there. A little bit dangerous, but 84-17 able to clear it out of first NC squad. Well, I didn't put as the... I don't even know what what seed is 8417. Probably three seed, I'm guessing. I'll take a look after. If not, somebody in chat will be able to help us out. I'm here. sure. I don't. I can't bring it off during the match because then the game audio goes out. Yeah, they're four. They're four. Thank you. Well, that would make sense if you can't have two versus three in the finals. Yeah, no. It's not how the bracket works. We could see an overtime here, though. It could be quite interesting. Yeah. There are 30 seconds left in this match. These guys are just back and forth with this control, just playing up on this mid middle third of this field. Just it barely staying in one on one side of the field for too good. long. Oh, but here it goes. Yeah, good rotation there by Festive Invader, getting back in time, able to get that save. Tux looking to commit. Oh, off the top post. Not quite able to get in. Goes to the left. ID able to make the clear. Final five seconds as they come in. Tux looking to commit in. Just off the crossbar. And we jump into overtime here. Two to two in match number one. Holy cow. This is what you'd expect from something in competitive mm -hmm. play almost. This is very competitive play as we have a couple great teams once again red alliance versus blue alliance so we'll doing this first style baby and here it comes looking to get the finish pistachio not quite able to do so it does leave right a little bit vulnerable festive invader you see going back with the rotation there, trying to make it clear not quite able to get it in all red cars are back almost said red robots red cars are back uh, and ready to go as tux makes another clear once again brian Yo, we got Tux over inside this corner. Oh, but here comes Festive Invader going through, clearing it out. ID going through, doing a little bit of a dribble pass to himself, going through. Almost got completely cleared out right there by Quinnick Splinters. ID looking to get, keep up the pressure there, but Speedy in position, able to get that aerial back out. Festival Invader pops up one more time. Speedy needs this touch. Able to do so. Gets a nice control and possession. Couple pop-ups there. Quintic. Festival Invader Off with the, the clear. Stashio trying to get back over the Festival Invader just a bit outside. 
slightly outside. That could have been a goal right there, and that could have been the end of match number one. Oh, and another one so close. This is just back and forth insanity here, Tyler. Yeah, really looking at this, uh, I feel like 84-17 is really starting to take control here. Of course, anything can happen. You see that last minute thing, but 84-17, you just see this continual pressure. Uh, also getting a lot of the boost advantage right now, too, out of this. We'll see if they can reset Pistachio. A little bit of a flick. Trying to get over Tux, but Tux is there. Double commit there by Blue. Might leave it vulnerable if Pistachio can get a big clear here. And Pistachio. Tux with the clear over to ID. Double trouble there as ID misses with looking for a festive invader. Not quite able to do so. ID. Trying to get one more time over the Quintick. Back over for Blue. Back over on the red side of the field. Tux up in off the crossbar once again in the middle of the scrum. Oh. Brian, that was definitely a close one there. That was so close. That was a nail biter of a close one right there. Wow, what a All great teams. finals match number one we've seen here so far. Already up close to plus three in this. Chat, let us know who you're rooting for, red or blue. Uh, these teams are currently neck and neck right now, Tyler. These guys are just going through. Everybody's able to play that counter play easily. It's just a matter of who's going to make the first mistake yeah. and who's going to be able to capitalize on that first. Speaking mistake. of which, up and in, Pistachio. Yeah. Oh, Selected off by Quintic. Oh, is this another opportunity? Oh, no. Nobody they, oh, there. there is the opportunity. The mistake has is. happened. Pistachio takes it and goes up. Red it takes it one to nothing. You get the little check mark there. Congratulations. What a crazy match. <clears throat> so we'll give these uh, give each side just a little bit of a breather before the next one starts. So once again, our red alliance goes up one to nothing. Well, we actually have red and blue alliance. See, Bacon? You can actually cheer that way. <laughs> <laughs> Another pull up here, by the way, too. Who you think is going to take it? Tuck says high stream. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can add the uh, number four seed. I should do that. Oh, yeah. The seed numbers that this is number four versus number two. Not money for. There we go. There we go. Can you see that little check mark there for orange or for red? It's the orange color, sorry. <laughs> Blue is first. Let's see. Bacon, gifted sub. Thank you for that, Bacon. Gifted over to Marka Buckner. Congratulations on that. And here we go, match number two underway right now. Number four seed, 84-17. Red Alliance is up one to nothing. If they win, they'll become our champions. If blue wins, we'll see a third match played. So if you're blue right now, uh, you really just got to focus on, once again, that, that pressure. Keeping it that way, red was able to keep so much pressure on, in OT especially, uh, for that, which is why I think really attributed towards the win. But we'll see how the results end up in this next match. I, I think we're going to see Blue uh, take this one and push it to a third match. But as I say that, of course, Red scores. <laughs> Brian, say that, Red scores yeah. by ID. What are your thoughts here, Brian? Um, my thoughts here are if ID, if Red 8417 can keep calm, keep collected, and sort of get into the heads of first NC squad, they will go through and be able to win this match and just win it outright right here but if first nc squad can keep their heads and push off brush off that they lost that first match in overtime 
they'll be able to go through and well, win. Well, just like that is how you do it. Yeah. Quinn Explainer is right there into the center goal. Four eighteen left in this match. One to one is our score as we go into our th our third kickoff. Bacon spamming those Red Alliance emotes. Rooting for the FTC once again. FTC versus FRC. So I think I think somebody on the uh, blue lights might also be an FTC, but we'll say FTC versus FRC. Tucks clear. ID able to get it back with the crossbar. Speedy able to get a far clear though. Quintic nice challenging Festive Invader. Speedy with the center. Nobody's home. That was a crucial That's touch by Tux there, by the way. There's nobody back for blue at that point. Big collision there midfield, by the way, with no demo was quite interesting as one was pretty close to full boost on that. Not quite supersonic. Yeah, sometimes you just sub supersonic and you don't get that demo. Oh, and all the way over here on the far side, nobody's able to capitalize. Tech's getting through, clearing it out to find their team more time. Trying to get that pinch there from Festive Invader, but defense still in play. For that, Tux a little bit of clear on the outside. It's going to need to try to get that extra touch there before they're able to do so. Gets it past Festival Beater. Pistachio, though, he'll move forward. Uh-oh. <laughs> Packet lost latency. All right. That's fun. I wonder if that's on my end. <laughs> oh, it's gone now. Sometimes the game is just so strong. Yes. The game that, that, that just affects the computer, you know? This match is brought to you by Spectrum's Potato Internet. Even though I pay more for better internet, apparently I still get packet loss. <laughs> hey, sometimes what happens. Quintic oh, with the goal. Quintic. Nice tap the there. Yeah. I mean, really, uh, you got to give a lot of credit there to Tux, by the way, who had the initial pop-up. He's not going to get the assist credit. Uh, but that's really what got that play going. Oh, yeah, for sure. This is 2-1. to one. First NC squad up with 220 left in the match. Man, when you're in the hot seats, th th those five minutes can feel really feel like 15 minutes of just play. Oh, we're, we're really here in that hot seat side of the blue end of the field. Oh, but a nice clear from Speedy going all the way down back onto the red side. Extra pop. Not quite over Pistachio with the clear, but right into the hands of Quintic. Goes back in the middle. Can they get the extra touch here? Just off the side bar. Not looking there. Tux. Close. And rip stream right now, apparently. And another needle thread straight past for Speedy. Right into it, right past. Uh, who was that? Festive Invader? I believe that was Festive Invader sitting there trying to block it off, but just couldn't get it there. We kick off. Minute 20 left of the match. Nice control there by Speedy, trying to get that extra one touch in. Not quite able to do so. Festive Invader is there with the deflection. Festive. Right in the Quintic. Here comes Pistachio with the center. Into ID. ID up and in. Nicely done there. Great pass by Pistachio. ID able to get it through Tux. And Quintic not quite in position. Brings it closer right now. 2-3 to three in favor of Blue. Those, those ricochet goals are one thing that I saw plenty of in competitive play when I was watching. And... That is the difficult goal to go through and block, even for competitive players. Yeah, like no doubt. Those guys on the upper echelon. But pretty competitive play here so far. Pistachio. Tux takes it. Center. Speedy looking to capitalize. Just a little bit outside. Had the momentum going, though. 
ID. Trying to get back over the tux, tux. Deflection off. Quintic takes it. Quintic looking for one more touch here. But Pistachio with the deflection. Final 20 seconds coming up. Right now blew up by one goal, three to two. Alliance has 10 seconds to go through and put in one more goal and try and see if they can seal their fate. If not, Blue can keep this alive. Go through with three seconds left, but it looks like it might not happen as time expires. You never know, though, at the last moment. But Blue Lions does take it. Ties up. We have a rubber match. Run. Yeah. Talk about an exciting matchup here. He's in three of fun rocket series. Looks like I'm not the only one with packet loss here. Quintic having some uh, leg issues as well, too, it looks like. Uh, you just never know. You never know what happened. It happens to the best of us, you know? Right. So, yeah, we'll be going to a third match here, and we will have a winner for sure. We'll see what happens. All right, match number three, loading up here. New poll and chat coming up. Now, we've seen both of these teams play to the best of their ability now, Tyler. Who do you think can possibly Ugh. take this on and win it all? You know, lots going on here. By the way, new poll up in Twitch chat, uh, so make sure you vote on that poll. Let us know who you think is going to take it. Uh, man, I mean, both matches we saw back and forth. I know I, I know I was going for NC squad. Oh, and they already started. Um, I know I'm going for NC squad match number two, but I actually think 84, 17 is going to take it. And as they do so with the first goal right away, there, pistachio getting as well too. Off so. <laughs> yeah. Once again, with one of those ricochet goals, those those ones are the sneaky ones to try and predict. But once again, all about momentum. We'll see who has it. Of course, getting that first goal right away usually tends to help. But in match number two, they had that quick first goal right away too, Brian. And uh, yeah. first NC squad was able to take it. We'll see what happens. This is a lot of taking it down to the one end of the field. Speedy going through from a nice little touch up flick up into that center of that goal from Quintic. Yeah, Fest Invader just not able to get enough uh, upward momentum going there to get a deflection off there. You saw Speedy, nice tap in, great pass by Quintic. Looking at our Twitch poll right now, it's about to end. Very close, 58% voting for 84-17 and 42% voting for NC Squad. This poll's just about to end. Uh, and of course, 1-1 one, one here, match number three, fun Rocket League season three finals going on right now. Four minutes left in this match and there has not been a dull moment from the first match to the final match here. Up oh, and in, yeah. Festive Invader almost able to get that final touch going in. Meanwhile, Tux over to Quintic. Quintic, nice touch past Red Alliance and Blue Alliance goes up two to one. Watch this, Tux here, nice center, Quintic. Reading that, gets it just past Festival Invader and able to take it two to one now for first NC squad.
there has been one goal in every 30 second period of <laughs> this match so far. Yeah, it's been pretty fast and furious here so far. Uh, you know, high octane teams on both ends. So I, you know, while we do see some good defense played, just so much more oh, offense going on. on yeah, the here demo. In the last second. Demo giving you a free goal there. Nice positional play. Festival Invader in and able to bump off Tux. Not see that was the more important part right there. Not that demo, that but Festival Invader plowing in the Tux, getting him off center point. Now to be able to defend two to two right now. Holy cow! Both of these teams are reading each other really well. Um, season one winner versus season two winner. Passive Invader almost touched himself to get into <laughs> that goal. ID almost able to get one as well too. Pistachio keeping up the pressure. These guys are just pressuring onto this this Blue Alliance, this first NC squad. Yeah. Quintic big miss though. Unfortunately, there Pistachio looking to capitalize. Upper left corner, Speedy able to get a deflection back out. ID keeping up the pressure. Ground shot. Want to get a little bit of air on that. Speedy in position, able to get a clear back in the middle. But here comes Festival Invader looking for one extra pop. Not able to do so. Tucks with the clear over the Quintic. Quintic with the big miss, though. ID able to capitalize. Fessa blowing up. Tucks. Two demos against Blue in the 10 seconds. Make a big difference here. Tucks with the save. One thing that's about being stuck inside of your own corner in front of your own goal, you don't have a chance to reset and go through and get a boost. You are stuck there. Yeah. Boost conservation moment. Just trying to get there as Pistachio was running it down, almost had it into that goal to head off that crossbar. Yeah, I mean, exactly what you're talking about there, Brian. Quintic out of boost at that time, but luckily uh, one of their Alliance members able to stay back. And speaking of which, Speedy... Able to get a nice upper tier goal. Look to pass off a of Quintic off the top crossbar. Speedy able to just capitalize there. All three red cars back in the red goal, but way too far back to make a difference in save in that one. Three to two. Yeah. In favor of first NC squad. Man, 50 seconds left inside this match. We haven't had a dull moment in this match. No, this has been really good play uh, to see here. Quintic looking to take advantage once again. That was a poor clear there. Another pop up by Tux. Not quite able to get it in. Speedy. Festive Invader able to pass it out over the Pistachio. Pistachio, though, a little bit too much watching. You got to come to the ball with that close. Festive Invader able to deflect it off of Tux with 120 left. Quintic. We're going to get into Speedy. Speedy gets it in. 4 to 2. A nice play there by first NC squad. Showing everybody up, showing myself up, showing Chad up. Right now, 4-2, to two, minute 15 left, Brian. It is all in favor of First NC Squad. And, I mean, we've seen this type of play before here. A two-goal deficit, it's really bad, but you can always come back from it. And I would not put it past 84-17 being able to go through and get another two goals in just one minute. I yeah, mean, We've been seeing a score every 30 seconds. Yeah, I totally agree with you on that. The potential is there, but you start to feel that pressure you talked about earlier, Brian, where, yeah. you know, it's a minute left. I got to score. Oh, my God, there's only 45 seconds left. I got to score two goals. You don't know, and now it's, it's three true. goals. <laughs> it is looking very grim for 84-17. It is looking to be a little difficult for them 45 yeah. seconds left much the bacon's dismay in chat here it seems but you never know sometimes there's just that nice placement where you just get that kickoff goal where just where it just gives you that slight advantage but with 30 seconds left we'll see well, there's oh, one ID scored yeah. 15 second goal. There is 30 seconds <laughs> left in this match. Two more goals needed to turn this into an overtime game. Three to go through and win this match. And yeah, I, I think a big thing there, you saw a demo happen early, and I think that threw off Quintic in his defense against that. Uh, so a big difference there. But if the pressure can keep up here, two goals, 22 seconds. Can it happen? Lots of pressure Thank happening. You. Blue needs a big clear here. 
And uh, there it is with Tux with one. Ten, final 10 seconds. That's going to be too late in order to get it in. What a great match and great play, though. As we go in here. Yes. And our Blue Alliance takes it, Brian. First NC squad taking their second win. And they secure it, taking season three out of this. Brian, let's wrap up here. What did you like to see? Or what did you uh, see that you liked out of the first NC squad? There was a lot of play uh, playability, playmaking ability off of each other, bouncing off of each other, a lot of communication, even just not probably in communication and calm, so we, we don't get to hear that, but just the placement of each other and the map awareness that they have is on point. These guys are definitely a top team and are definitely the team to beat as from what it seems they were the season two winner. They are continuing on to be the season three win winner. And they're back-to-back -back champions. Yeah, no doubt. So, also want to give a big shout out to Bacon as well, too, who offered up some free Rocket League credits for the winning uh, alliance who won. So thanks a lot, Bacon, for that. Definitely appreciate that. I uh, want to give some other big shout outs as well, too, uh, in this uh, stream as we go through. Uh, of course, to Chris uh, from 4159 for helping organize this. He is really the lifeblood behind getting this going. Big shout out to him and his team to make this happen. We'd love to keep keep these going once a month, guys. So please stay active. Bring your friends in uh, to this as well. And we'll try to get something going in August as well. Uh, Brian, big thanks to you, man, for uh, stepping up, doing a great job here today. Anything to leave the stream with before we head off? Uh, well, Thank you for having me. I mean, it was great going through, um, going through and watching all this competitive play from everybody here. Uh, it's definitely gotten me hyped to go through and play some Rocket League. Shoot, I might even be going through and playing some later on tonight. There you go. So make sure you're joining. If you guys want to play, of course, you can just play looking uh, for singles, duos, and party mode uh, in the Rocket League server. So great place to just play uh, some random matches and get up everything with that yeah thanks everybody in chat that's going to be it for us this evening once again congratulations first nc squad taking the season three championship on behalf of myself tyler for first updates now also thank brian uh for being a commentator chris for being our tournament director and everybody else watching the stream we'll see you next time on fun talk to you then good night everybody